Comedians opening cards, no coffee, and we're still at Frog Brewing on a fra rare Friday night open mic. And I got one of the hosts. It's Heather. <laughs> and uh, how long have you been hosting this mic? Oh my goodness, just just, just a few short months. Just a few short months. Yep. Right. Yep. And it's in yep. a great brewery, so it's super awesome. Amazing brewery. They have such a, a wonderful customer base, and 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 we've had such success with comics coming here and and showing up and right, right, right. making everyone laugh. Awesome. Yeah. So, I got a bunch of cards. You just yeah. pick something that looks interesting to you. Talk about it for as long. Oh, Beavis, Beavis and, and Butthead. Butthead. Beavis and Butthead, guys. Nice. So you remember that? I fucking love it. I, so I'm 40. Okay. I'm old. I'm old enough to I remember I beat you by 15. Uh, yeah, TP for my bunghole. Exactly. I know that exactly. one. Yeah, yeah. All right, so I, I love open that it. Show too. I you open it up? Yeah. I loved it. I loved it. All right. I'm not nervous, I'm just gonna do it. Okay, yeah. so I talk about the card. Whatever. Okay, cards? Yeah. All right, so there's the packet. Right. All right, um, oh my God. <laughs> I fucking miss this show yeah. so much. Customers suck. All right, customers do suck sometimes. Not here, this is a great place. Well, you're the customer. I'm the they're customer. the you like look to them. They're like the server. They're not the customer. No, I know, but they I, yes, but they they, yeah. the, they have the best customers. Yeah. Here. But I will say this: I worked in um, so I've worked in every kind of industry. Like when I was a teen, should I talk to the camera? Whatever you want, it All doesn't right. matter. I'm talking to you guys. Um, customers do suck sometimes. I got the angriest people when I worked at Subway. Um, my favorite kind of people though, I worked at an ice cream shop. Oh. For seven summers. When you were probably young. I was young. Because they always hire young, attractive yeah. girls young. to do oh, the well, ice cream That's very place. nice of you. Yes, well, that's I very... Mean, it seems like that's <laughs> true, though. They know what they're doing. <laughs> hey, who's... Then it's the dudes really go just to... Yeah. They're like, who cares about the ice cream? I just want to talk to girly girl, you know? I did have a guy with a shaved chest show up one day asking for my number, exactly. which was strange. But um, but no one shows up um, in a baboon. There's no bad customers in ice cream. Right, that's Customers don't suck in ice cream. Well, Cust they suck the ice cream. They suck the ice cream. If they cream. eat it correctly. If, no, if I scream it at them, then you fucking suck that ice I know, I'm just kidding. Yeah. I would never do that. But um, I will say um, customers do suck. Um, maybe at Subway. I got yelled at one time for, I don't know, not going fast. I don't know. Everyone's right. in a bad right. mood they're in a and hurry. they're in a hurry. Right. Okay. Because they're hungry. They want a meal. And they could be. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. All right. So I got Hello Sinations. Hello Sinations. Oh I don't know what that is. Wow. It's a big pizza face. It well, it's it's breakfast. Those are eggs, and this, I believe, is meat, bacon. Oh, he looks delicious. He looks delicious. I will strange. say this. Um, so hallucinations. I've never had. I don't. I've never done drugs outside of maybe weed. I, this is drugs right here. And I'll, I'm no. I love alcohol. I'm okay. a wicked booze bag. So that's that's my thing. I, that's what I was getting to. But um, I've never hallucinated except for um. Except for a fever, but if I was going to hallucinate like this guy, I'd want it to be breakfast. Yeah, I don't think you want to see that though if you're hallucinating. You don't want someone's no. face to turn into breakfast food. I shit my pants. Yeah, I exactly. Shit my exactly. Pants. All right. So, um, so I should go to the next card. Oh my god. <laughs> Why does this remind me of Rugrats? Oh, um, that's in one saying, of the. Oh, is there a Rugrats one? Well, there's one that is like. Oh no. Oh. Maybe it got Stew. picked in the new replay. Oh, it doesn't matter. Well, it says... Oh, in here. There's Rugrats in there. Oh, I love Rugrats. Stew! That was Tommy Pickle's dad with Stew, but it says Stew here. I don't know what it means, but I think it's... I think it's, it's like a chili or it's like a soup. I know what Stew is. I was thinking of a guy. <laughs> I was thinking of a guy. Right, of course. But I'm looking at Beavis going... <laughs> All right, so you're wondering what I'm thinking. I shouldn't, like articulate what I think is going on in his head. Whatever, there's no gonna, rules. You're not gonna like the audio. Um, there's no rules. Here's what my ass looks like um, if I don't shave um, every other day. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, there's a picture. Oh, that's it's, hilarious. Also, what my chin looks like um, these days. As a 40 year old, um, my chin will get that way. You will never see it. Um, and I'm getting old enough now where my chin hair is white. Mm. People are missing it. I have black hair naturally. Well, you know, the white hair, though, that, then it won't show up as much, so that's probably better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Except for you. You've got some white hair. Yeah. Right. Well, I don't try to cut it off as soon as it pops out. <laughs> I don't care. You, know. you don't pluck it. Yeah. Um, and then 
This is the uh, traditional greeting I have for any new person I meet professionally. Just professionally. Oh, more, more butt more pictures. Ass. More ass. I love ass. There we go. <laughs> it's very popular these days. Yeah. I yes. love Beavis and Butthead so much. Oh, oh, I love that. It was it, so goddamn funny. They're my childhood. They're yeah, exactly. Not teenhood. Yeah, childhood. right, right. You saw them. You, well, you would have seen them 15 years oh, earlier okay. than me. I saw the movie. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. I saw them after college. So good. Yeah. So good. I miss them. I miss best. them. I do. I think, I think Mike Judge put them back on something, though. I think they, they made new episodes. I think, yeah. I'm I so out. So. I feel like I'm so out of touch. It's so, okay. I'm so out of touch now. Yeah, I'm very out of it's touch. It's hard to relive your childhood so you've already done that yeah. you've moved on to comedy so that's fair moved on to comedy yeah, yeah live in the dog world mostly yeah. oh, children world yeah, all of it of all the fun stuff awesome yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Well, just sign one for me then, and uh, oh, can you can sign, keep the others if you so desire. Can I sign anyone? Whatever one you want. Right, it's all fine. My favorite one, not that one. I don't want that. God damn it. I don't know which one I like. I, I think well, I you like get to one. keep all the others, so maybe I you do. want to sign one that you well, don't like. I want to like. sign one that means yep. something new. Whatever one you... And, and two dudes' asses mean so much to me. I knew it. It's like, which one to choose? I knew it. I which knew it. Choose? I knew which it. to choose? I knew it. All right. You're getting it. Heather... All right, sir. Is that your last name? Smith. Smith. Oh, Heather Smith. Heather oh, they're, Smith. They're thick freaking cards. That's a. Is that two? Look at that. Ooh. Okay. Bonus. All right. Um. Well, I get to talk about this last one. I want yeah. everyone to have a nice day. <laughs> have a nice day. Awesome. Go see live comedy because that's the fun stuff. Take two. Okay, uh, we're talking after the card show, so we have to just uh, splice this in. So wait, say that again? Okay, so um, I've always wanted to be a comic my entire life. I went on a comedy cruise. I'm a big... Oh, Bert you did the cruise. Yeah, the Burt Kreischer fully loaded right. cruise. Good for you. Yep, they yep. sold out very fast. So fast, but yeah. we, we jumped on it quickly. Oh, that was good for you. Yeah, my husband and I are comedy fans. I'm the only one that's wanted to be a comedian since I was 11. Right, 11. Right, right. Jim Carrey was my first crush, David oh. Spade, all of them. Wow. Right now, um, Burt Kreischer, Mark Norman, Tom Segura, Shane Gillis, Louis C.K., yep. Nikki Glaser, yep. um, fucking obsessed. So yeah, yeah. we jumped on it, went on the cruise. Right. Um, in an act of God, <laughs> we're on this cruise, and we don't go on many, but you know how you stop at different ports? Yeah. The seas were too rough for us to um, tender out to one of our islands. Right, right, right. So they Happens had to lot. change the itinerary. Sure. And instead of us having our excursions, I wanted to fucking swim with pigs. Swim with who? Pigs. Swim I, with pigs. I paid to swim with pigs on an island. Usually, usually it's swim with dolphins. In the stirrup cage. She's swimming with pigs. I love pigs. I love them. Well, they're in smarter the than dogs. Cay, in, they are very, yes. Yeah. You're talking to a dog trainer, and I agree with you. Yeah, well, they are. In the great stirrup K, we couldn't do it. So they had to completely create a new itinerary. Right. One of them was an open mic. Oh and my, my husband God. said... You should do it. And the first thing I said was, fucking no, because why would I want to follow the best of the best? Right. The best of the best. And my husband talked me into it. He said, first of all, you'll never see these people again. Right. Second of all, okay. these people are primed to laugh. Right. They right. want right. To, to have fun. Right. right. Um, so I sat, and within 40 to 45 minutes, I came up with a bit. Right. Because you hadn't ever done it before. Never did it before. Right. Um, stood in line. Got picked. Um, this is the first ten, and I was first in line, but I made somebody go before me because it was my first time. Right, right, right. And said, um, I, I threw away everything. I threw away everything I wrote what you had in those planned to do. Minutes. Sure. And I just you pulled just... what my first bit still kind of is now. It's right. A, it's a whole queef bit on my mother. Right, right. And well, I, Norman would like that because of the queef. This is yeah, true. yeah, yeah, this is yeah, 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 yeah. And, and, and I'd be lying if I said he saw it. He didn't see it, but Catherine Blanford, do you know her? She's a comic. Not sure. She's a, she's a I very, assume she was comic. very well known, famous comic. Like, okay. And um, she's the one that introduced me on stage. Wow. And said my name and all that right, stuff right. and saw me just do my first, fumble through my first set. Right. Three minutes ever. Right. Did it, got off. Walked out front, stumbled around the ship after just being so excited. Right. We're celebrating. And my husband goes, Mark Norman. And, oh, God, fuck. Um, it was Giannis Papas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So here's the thing. I, I'm embarrassed to, to say I didn't know Giannis Papas. Sure, sure, sure. Do you know him? I, I, I know didn't. of him. I don't. I didn't. I've know never him. met him. I didn't. Um, right. I didn't know him, but I knew Mark, and I was sure. so excited. Right. That I ran ahead of Mark and pretended to be passing him, so that way he, right. I could stop and say, "Hey, can I get a photo?" Right. And in the middle of it, I said, "And he's so nice. He's a sweetheart." Yeah, and I said, "Hey," this. and he's walking with Giannis Papas. Right. And I said, "Hey." And I just did my first set. He went, hey, you popped a cherry. And right. we high five. No, right. no, he said, you broke the hymen. Right. And we high five. Right. And my husband dove in. And then a man said, no, you don't have to do a selfie. I'll take your picture. Giannis Pappas took our picture. Oh, wow. And Giannis Pappas grabbed my phone and took our picture for right, us. Right, right, right. So we did that. Um, right. And then, can I tell you one more story? Go ahead, yeah. Um, Five years before all of this, right. my husband and I went to Cancun, the uh, Just for Laughs comedy festival. Big oh. Tom Segura fan. Sure, sure, sure. We fucked around a little bit. We saw Nikki Glaser and all these people perform. Right. Um, Andrew Santino. Yeah. And I told my husband, because we're in Mexico at the time, we're in Cancun. Right. I said, act natural. When the whole stadium emptied, emptied we right. walked around. I said, just pretend you're part of the staff. Right, right, exactly. Yeah. Pretend like you belong. Put my arm around, like, went... Oh my God! There's Nikki Glaser and Andrew Santino. Right. And I said, Nikki, can I get a picture? And right. I said, I've always wanted to be a stand-up, and she said, You should. And that awesome. Was five years, and I never thought I would. And right. Now I'm doing it. Awesome. Anyway. So I'm gonna just tell a tiny story. I want to hear it. So I'm a huge comedy fan. Yeah. And I go to New York all the time, and I go see so much comedy. Yeah. And this card thing is just a gimmick. So I could hang out with the comedians down oh, in New York. Shit. So yeah. you get to like. Right. So you actually did. Yeah. Shane Gillis. Gillis has done the show. Mark Norman's done the show. Now, but that's not the real part of the story. So. I'm so jealous. I've never. I'm jealous. I've never gone to do Kill Tony, but I was thinking of that, and I was thinking, oh, it would be funny to do Kill Tony first, but uh, that's dumb to do. So I was working on my Kill Tony minute, and I was in New York City. And I saw a sh I saw a show with Norman because he does a t he does a Tuesday show called uh, something uh, I can't Tuesdays remember. With, Tuesday no, with well, no, stories. he does a comedy show oh. on Tuesday okay. night that's Live. like a every okay. every Tuesday. Yep, yep, gotcha, gotcha. So after the show, I pay cash so I get out the door first because everyone's waiting for their credit cards. Yeah. So I get out the door first, and they're w he's waiting there to say hi to all the comedians. So I tell him, I go, hey. Can I do my Kill Tony minute to you? And he goes, yes. So the first person I ever did comedy to was Mark freaking Norman. I'm so fucking jealous. High five. Is that freaking Fist crazy? Bump. High five. Is that crazy? I am so fucking jealous. And he goes, he goes, he goes, you're very punny, but I like puns. I, he loves and, puns. And, and, I was, and I was fucking, I was fucking up. I was, I wanted to read it like I read. Yeah. And he's like, you can't read it. So I had to put my pat, my note away and I'm, I'm doing my thing and I'm fucking up. And it's a minute, and he, he pulls out, he's like pointing to his watch, and I'm like, ah! And then, ah! Uh, you did, ah, uh, like he does! Yes, it was the best, it was the best, it was the best, Dude, it was the best. I'm so happy, yeah, yeah. he's the, the sweetest guy. Oh, he's so like, nice. he's so fucking funny, too, like, he's, him, well, yeah. do you ever listen to him um, do the Joe Rogan, the Protect Our Parks? Yeah, I mean, I, uh, now that, Ro like, I, now that Rogan, should we turn, we can turn this off, though. <laughs> Go to live comedy. Hey, hey, folks. Comedy. We're really doing it. I'm gay. He's homeless. Sweep it up. Oh, I missed the bike. Oh, oh sorry, man. Uh, I was sitting there freaking listening to the show across the thing, you know, with my pack <laughs> off, and I had, I had water smoking or whatever. Yeah. And a couple came by. And I think you'll love this. And they go, hey, would you like our Indian food? Because they thought I'm a oh, homeless dude. Oh, that's hilarious. And I'm like, yeah, of course. Yeah, that's of great. course. Get free shit. And it was freaking great. Oh, my God. Yeah. Well, no, I'm not going to do that. But, you know. Well. Where are you playing tomorrow at all? Oh, that was so awesome. Good. Thank Thanks, you so Dave. Much.